My name is Armando Belder. We are here in Basel, at the south of Brussels, in the beautiful region, what we call the Seine Valley, which becomes more and more famous for its very original uh, beer. This is the Frank Bone sign. This is brewed in January from this year. Blending means that we don't brew our own lambic. So in my case, I'm blending a Lindemann's lambic, a Bone lambic, a Scherder lambic. This is the Lindemans, so they give a sign on their barrel, a very simple sign. The people could not write, so they had to put a sign on it, they could make something like that. This is the other, they are signing with the G. You see it's also brought in 2004. The total mystery of blending is that when I buy the Lambic wort and they transport it over to me, and it's fermenting and aging in our casks, that my bone lambic or Lindemann's lambic will taste different at the same wort fermenting on their casks in the brewery. Each of those barrels has different, um, different qualities. It lends to the beer, different flavors you'll, you'll get. Every single barrel has had its own life, if I may say, and it will come with its own microorganisms and it will give uh, beers with different nuances. You can taste a Lambic from the same batch and the same age in different barrels and it'll taste totally different. The real art is in the blending. Armand de Belder takes these different Lambiques from different places and um, will blend a combination of one, two, and three-year-old Lambic beers to create a certain flavor composition that uh, is what he calls uh, eau de guise. Voila. The guise is a blended Lambic, so it's not a brewed beer, it's blended. It was brewed in uh, April last year. So this is a younger Lambic, it's a one year Lambic. You see, it's not so clear like the three years old, it's a little bit cloudy. I can never say that what I'm going to plant, I have my total stock of barrels. And I'm starting mostly by opening the oldest one. So for example, I will just have the opportunity to taste the Gerard Lambic. This has been brewed in, Feb in uh, April 2003. So this is for me a three years aged Lambic. And a very beautiful but characterful beer. And from this oldest Lambic, I can go, I can taste the acidity, I can taste how long it is, how deep it is, how characterful it is. Because it doesn't mean that you have a three years old Lambic, it's very sour, no, no, it can be very soft. Maybe too soft. So I never can say that hey, I'm going to blend this battle, this battle, this battle. No, it doesn't work like that. Each has its own character, its own taste, and uh, Armand is good at blending those together. In his own mind, he has some idea of what he wants it to come out like at the end. He doesn't really know for sure how it will come out because it's, it's still nature. Unbelievable nose, beautiful aromas. And let's say that's my passion, this is blending. That means just looking around where you can find the good combination of your different kinds of Lambic. You've got this range of Lambic beers that are like colors on your palate uh, as, as a painter. You have different flavors, maybe 200 different variations, and you create all kinds of different beers out of those. The making of girls is a very, very difficult exercise, and I think we can talk about art, because it's not only mastering a technique, it's beyond that. It's the Lambic Brewer's mission to create a harmony. There's no other way to describe exactly what he's looking for when he chooses a barrel from here and a barrel from there. It's by my experience that and what I learned from my father that he teaches me what I have in my nose, what is my taste, and what I'm tasting is in that way so difficult that I have to know what I'm tasting today. I have to know what it's going to be for three years later. And that's the experience. That's why blending is so very, 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 very difficult.
Voilà.